Hey guys, it's Callie. Today I'm going to be showing you the journal page that I created using these 10 prompts from the Mission Inspiration Group generated by Mike Deacon. I'll put all links below. Be sure to check them out and see what everyone else came up with. This has been a blast, so if you're interested, stick around and I'll show you what I did. Okay guys, I am super excited to be starting my first Mission Inspiration with Mike Deacon. And I have my list of prompts. I have a brand new Delusions journal that this will be my first page in my new journal. So I'm super excited. And I've already um, put some masking tape down on the page that I want to use. And we're going to go... Actually, maybe I'll do this one. I'll do this side. And... The first prompt is to apply patterned under paper or tissue. So I have a combination of some things I want to use. Um, I've never used these decoupage papers before, so I'm going to try them out. They look pretty cool. And they're just various sheets of paper. So I'm going to rip up some of those. And here's another one that's pretty cool as well. Check this one out. This will be my first time trying them. So combination of those. And then I also have some sheet music that's been hanging around for a little while. I thought I would use that as well. And maybe I have a bag of just various scraps and things like that. I might use some of that. So I have my Americana decoupage matte medium. I have an old little palette dish and an old brush. And we're just going to get started. And I'll show you the first piece. And then I'm going to cut away because you guys don't need to watch me glue. But I'm really excited for this challenge. And I'm looking forward to them for the rest of the year as well. And I just get a kick out of seeing what everybody does. And I love using prompts that kind of push me out of my comfort zone. So I'm just going to lay some of this, just ripping away. I'm going to add some of this down. I've had this particular sheet music. Um, this is Drift Away um, by Dobie Gill. Dillis. Give me the beat, boys. Free my soul. So I'm going to do some of that. And then I'm going to rip up some of the papers like I told you guys. Um, let me just show you what I'm talking about. Okay. So we'll go back and forth. And then when that's all done and dry, I'll see you back here for the next prompt. Okay. So I'm so excited. This is cool. See you in a minute. Okay, guys, this is pretty well dry now. I just used a combination of the Americana decoupage papers, the music paper that I had, and some scraps of graphic 45 paper. It's not normally my style, but that's what I love about these challenges. So let's see where this is going to take us next. The second step is to cover with a thin coat of gesso. So I have my deco art gesso in white, and I have a little palette dish here with a little bit of water in it. I'm going to water down some gesso and just go over this very lightly. And then, this is so exciting. I love watching these things develop because you really have no idea. It's always a surprise. Okay, of course, I made this super watery. Let's see. And I'm loving this journal so far. I told you guys, this is my first time using a real journal. And what a treat. So, both have their appeal. You know, I'm all about recycling and upcycling and downcycling. But every once in a while, it's nice to treat yourself. And I'm really happy that I could start off the journal this way. So, 
Okay, you guys, this is super watery gesso, but this is what we're doing, and we're going to let this dry, and then I'll be back with the third step. So, see you in just a second. Okay, this is nice and dry, and our next step on our mission is to use at least two rubber stamps. And I just kind of went through and randomly grabbed a few stamps that I kind of tend to use a lot. I have this one. This is some text. Here's some more text, the definition of curiosity. Um, a random little flower that I like to use a lot. I also use this a lot with my polymer clay. And I have this one from Gina Ahrens that I use a lot too. So shout out to Gina. I have a few different inks. I just got a new stays on black and I have this fuchsia and blue and I'm not sure how permanent or not they are, but I'm going to just take a chance and get wild. So I'm going to randomly, let's do the text first. Brand new pad. I'm just going to randomly go around and I think I will soon invest in an acrylic block for stamping purposes just to make things easier. But use what you got. Oh, that looks cool. I haven't given any thought to this. I'm just kind of letting my muse guide me here. And this is a lot of fun. And I'm really thankful to Mike for doing this. And I've already, this is my, I told you, my first page of the new year. And meh, I don't know where I want to go. Um, and it it's totally inspired me and, and it's getting me motivated to do some other stuff, so. Okay, let's switch it up a little bit here. Let's try this blue with some of these guys. Uh, doo -doo -doo. It said use at least two, so of course I had to grab five, you know. I like this blue color. Again, I don't know how steadfast it is or permanent, but we're giving it a shot. Do Maybe a little more. Right up in here. In there. That looks cool. And then let's try the pink or fuchsia with this beautiful stamp from Gina Ahrens. I'm going to try to remember to stay in frame. Oh yeah, look at that. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Man, Gina, you did a great job with those, honey. Okay. One more. And do I want to do anything else? I don't think so. Maybe, yeah, I don't think so, as I continue to do something else. These are the curiosity words. Maybe I'll just throw some of those in here, too. I don't want to overdo it, but I have a tendency to overdo a lot sometimes. But there's no rules here, right? Like I said, I'm trying to let my muse guide me. I think that's going to be it, you guys. 
Let's do one more. I think that's going to be it. Let me do another one. Oh, but we didn't use this guy. Hmm. Well, I do what I want. Throw down a couple of these just for ha-has. Oh, those are pretty too. Those are pretty next to the Gina flowers too. All right. And the next step after this one, you guys, is to lay down book text. So torn strips of book text. So that'll be cool. Okay, I'm going to do one more flower right here. And that's it. We're done with the stamps. Stamp it up. Okay? I don't know. We're doing it. That's it. So I'll be back in just one second after I put this stuff away and get my book text. All right? I'll see you in a second. Okay, now step four is to add torn book text. So I have a big fat old dictionary that I got for a dollar at the auction and I just rip out pages at random of dictionary text using some Americana decoupage and matte medium. Again, have an old paintbrush and a palette dish and we're just gonna slap them on. Um, no rhyme or reason. Let's see what we get. Ooh, define. And the step after this one will be to add three collage elements. And I used to do a lot of collage and I don't do as much recently. So it'll be nice to kind of see what I have and see what we come up with. I still have no idea. And I don't want to cover up too much, but I do want to get some good stuff here. Let's see. I know I'm supposed to get the back of the paper before I put it down. This paper's nice and old too, so it's already yellowed and has a nice aged look to it. <coughs> I'm not going to cover up too much. Uh, maybe we'll do one more after this, right in the middle. Then I'm going to let this dry, and while it's drying, I'm going to go through my own, I have a bag of collage pieces I've cut out of magazines and stuff I haven't looked at in a while, so I'll take a look at that stuff, and then I'll be back, and we'll put that down. And this is what we have happening so far. All right, so I'll see you guys in just a minute, and that's that. Okay, guys, so this next prompt was to add three collage elements, and I took an assortment. I made this outfit out of magazine collage. It's still drying a little bit, actually. I just used um, decoupage, Mod Podge to um, glue it down. And then these wings came from a gift bag. The face I just drew on a piece of mixed media scrap paper and I used my um, Derwent Inktense pencils. 
to color that in and then went over it with a wet brush and then I added the hat too from the same um, outfit if you will so yeah that's that and definitely different but I'm having fun with this page so it's it's I love being pushed out of my comfort zone or doing things I wouldn't normally do so the next prompt is to add three colors of my choice and I have no idea what colors those are gonna be but I'll be back when I pick those and I'll show you how we're gonna add them in all right so it'll be just a minute okay guys I've picked my three colors I'm going to use Deco Art Media Misters in purple and turquoise and then either this yellow or possibly the violet but I think we have enough violet with the stamp and I'm going to do a combination of uh, I have this spiral stencil from plaid folk art which I use a lot and I also have this cool Andy Skinner Baroque stencil that has some cool corners that I may use. I'm not sure yet, but I'll get back to you when the three colors have been used. Okay, guys, that was fun and a little messy. Uh, I decided to use, again, the Deco Art Misters. And I used the purple with this stencil from Plaid. And it was a little, this, you can see this mister is super messy. I don't know why it's kind of leaky around the top cap, but it's the only one I've had a problem with. And of course it's my favorite color, but I just kind of let it smear where it wanted to. And then this, I uh, used the yellow and I just sprayed a little in my palette dish and went in with this cap that I had in my junk drawer and just made circles with the yellow all around. And then for my third color, I used the Shimmer Mister in Turquoise, and I just sprayed that. And I just put a piece of paper over her face and dress when I was doing the spraying. So the next step that we have is to make marks with black or white paint, or white or black paint. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that I'm going to just do kind of typically a black and white border of some sort um, that might tie, tie things together a little bit, the black in her dress and her hat. So I'm going to be using some of my Americana paints and I'll show you when that's done. And we'll be back. Okay guys, so I did the black and white border like I thought I was going to do. And I used my Americana acrylic paint. This one's multi-surface satin in cotton ball. And this is uh, lamp black ebony. So it was very easy. I just used this brush and went around the edges. So I also um, colored in her antenna. And I don't know if this is cheating or not, but... I added, I made a little suitcase out of some mixed media paper and I just used my Prismacolor markers to uh, color that in because she looks like she's going on a trip to me. She's ready to take a journey. So I don't know. I hope that's not cheating, but yeah, I added that. And the next thing in line, number eight, is to add a quote or a phrase and I have no idea um, I thought about Shine On You Crazy Diamond, but that doesn't really, you know, I don't know. It doesn't really fit with the picture, um, the long and winding road. It, I'll think of something. So I'll be back when I do the phrase, and I'll see you back here in a minute. Okay, we're moving right along here. I wasn't sure what phrase to use, so I kind of looked around and looked through my stamps, and I pulled out one of these. This is an old Tim Holtz stamp. It says, Enjoy the Journey. And I did that first on some mixed media paper that I had just laying around scrap with old spray ink on it. And then I thought, well, enjoy what journey? How about life? Enjoy the journey. How original. So I just cut out some letters from a magazine and put that on there. So that was that step. 
And then number nine is to add doodles in black and white or both. And so I will do that. And I'm most likely going to use my handy dandy Signo Uniball pen as well as probably my favorite Castell Pit pens. Those are my favorite ones. So I'll be outlining these guys and highlighting some of the letters and just adding some little squiggles and doodles. So I'll see you back here when that's done. Oh, I use my Stazon ink for the um, stamp. So I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, guys, so I did doodles all around. I added some trip stickers, including a trip to the moon to her suitcase. Gave her some detail on her wings, kind of outlined her dress and shoes, the wording a little bit. I'm happy with it. I could have a tendency to go overboard. I did some white swirls in the background and some little dots. So the very next step and the last step is to add drips or spatters. And I'm telling you, that's there's so much going on in the background, but I've decided to use my Deco Art Media Mister, and I'm just going to add some random spatters, and I'll see you back here when that's done, and then that's going to be it, you guys. It will be mission accomplished. Okay, guys, I've completed the last step, and for splatters and drips, I used the Deco Art Media Misters in yellow, green, and turquoise, and I literally just kind of blobbed it on there. So I've signed my name. I'm going to put a clear coat over this just to preserve it, and I really had a great time. I hope you guys check out this mission inspiration through Mike Deacon. I will put all links below, and go ahead and show me what you guys come up with, too. I'm looking forward to next month's prompts, and I'll see you guys then. Take care. Thanks, Mike.